there welcome to another video of SwiftCat this is the hundredth video of my youtube channel I humbly give my thanks a million to all my viewers subscribers and those all who supported my channel so far and trusted me by giving rumor projects so in this video I'm going to talk about deep AR which is related to AI in Flutter application so I'm going to build a snapshot kind of application which is having tool to implement facial changes by using augmented reality. So as I said, I'm going to build this project in Flutter. So to follow the steps in building, you must have the Flutter setup or else an Android Studio or a Visual Studio. Check my previous videos. So, so uh, I have provided the link in my video description which is having the setups explained. So this is just a demo which I'm showing in the screen. So what shall we going to build and what we have in this application by using the AR. All right, so let's start doing it. First of all, we will follow everything by following the steps. So I have created the steps, how we can do this. Okay, step one. So create a new project. So you can create a new project by using the Android Studio or as a Visual, Visual Studio. And then what you need to do, you can name the project whatever you like, Deep AR, Deep AR Demo or whatever you like. That's the first step. So after creating the project, so I have created the project already here. So the next step is step two, uh, pub repo setup. So I have provided the link of this uh, Flutter package in my video description and also the DPAR, this link also I have provided my video description. You can find that, okay? So step uh, two is uh, we need to set up the installing of this uh, package. So in order to do that, so first line is Flutter pub add rwadpar. You need to copy this file and go to your terminal and just click there and just enter this and enter so that's done next thing is you go to the if you go to the YAML you can find here there is a W R W A D P R already there the next one is you need to click the pub get so this will be done that's the step two so once you're done you're already there we have set up the packages and then we go to step 3 which is having the deep AR register the app in uh, for the Android and iOS and copy the key so in order to do that uh, you can find here it is uh, ai. it's a fantastic library you must uh, have a look on this this is having the very huge libraries of uh, AR infrastructure to any application. Mm, they're having the AR ads, uh, they're having the AR filters, all these things. It's a huge one and uh, I just recommend uh, to just uh, get uh, follow those because they're having more and more tools uh, of the, this deep AR. All right, so next thing is how it works. So let's go to this one and uh, let me find you you can you need to do is a, a signing up which is the first step you need to do so to create an AR account so you just go here and uh, click on this deep AR sign up you will be redirected to this file where you can create a new signing up all these things I have already created so that's uh, going to this page so you find here a start for free icon just click that going to sign in once you are done with that we can go and uh, create a project which is for the iOS and Android take some time all right demo projects you find here an icon which is for the plus new project so click that one and let it name as uh, deep AR flutter 
demo. So you find here we just having uh, users per month. So you can use like uh, for 10 users, uh, there is no payment, you can use it for free. And so I'm clicking this 10 and just saying it is continue. If you go for this, they will ask for money. If you are for a 10 users per month, that's okay. You can use it for free. That's a very good thing they're giving for free for the developers. We just make it for our learning purpose. All right, so continue. And it will go to this file, which is having, we can do the setups for the iOS, uh, Android, or web, or Mac OS. So I'm going to create uh, this uh, iOS app, Bundle ID. You can find here option, what is Bundle ID? Bundle ID, you can find it from the info P list, or else you can find the source code project, Xcode project, you can find the Bundle ID. So I have here the Bundle ID, like comb dot uh, D A R demo or else let me name it as blue mango global so this com dot uh, company organization name dot uh, deep uh, project name so i have here com blue mango global dot uh, deep ar demo and just going to create this bundle id and they'll be providing a key which you need to just copy it and Keep it yourself. All right. So you find here the key, copy SDK key. You copy that and paste it somewhere you want. So I'm just pasting it over here. This is for the iOS. And then I'm going to create a key for the Android application as well. So add app. I'm going to name the same like home dot deep ar demo dot sorry organization name all right i'm just going to create this as well and i will get a copy sdk license key which is for the android application i'm just copying it and uh, going to here and named as android and I'm pasting it here okay so we have done the three steps we have completed step three which is the copy the key uh, then we need to go to the source file code which I, I have provided in my video description this is the source code you know what you need to do is uh, you just go to this link you can find here my source available which is for the sample and uh, let me go to the library folder and you can find here main dot dot file so what you need to do next is you just need to copy this all from a to z and the project which you have created in the main dot dot file you go to the main dot dot file and what you need to do is you just paste it over there so let me find my main dot file i'm going here i'm just uh, pasting it over here all right and then what you need to do next is uh, what the key which we have copied the keys which we have copied like android license key and the key which so i'm just copying this a uh, key which i have uh, pasted here like for the ios i'm just copying it and replacing for the you find here the line which is having ios license key you just need to replace those and also here for the Android do the same thing you just copy the key which you have pasted there and just uh, replace with the Android license key simple and easy that's it so if you try to run uh, it may throw error because we need to do further setups in our permission all these things and uh, let's go for the step 3 sorry step 4 changed copy main dot file which is a step five step six sorry for that I just okay and so if the if it shows an error uh, which is having the null error or something like that so what you need to do is just copy this no sound null safety and go to your uh, main dot edit configuration file here and additional run arguments you just copy this apply that's it okay 
the next thing is uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do uh, so add some permissions so which is required like uh, for the Android manifest and also for the iOS so in order to do that I'm going to Android manifest let me find that Here we go so you can find here like this package so read me you, when you do that they have some steps which is uh, related to the permission and all these things they have given so uh, the thing is permission handler so you need to find here like uh, this line of code which is you have in the pro, pro guard rules dot pro and also you need to find the build dot cradle all these things so let me find that over here you here you have the pro got rules dot pro so I have the line here which is uh, from the setup this line of code and then uh, I'm going to my uh, build dot gradle where you find here build types release I just added this line as well this is from the setup and then Finally, you need to just uh, copy this whole and go to your Android manifest and just paste it to your stuff there. All right, so that's done with the setup for the Android. And if you go to uh, iOS, you can find here info.plist. So in iOS, you can find here the option from here info.plist. What you need to do is you just need to copy that as well and paste it over here. So this is for the camera, photo library usage description. So let me find here some space, All right? And copying this. Finish. Save that, and uh, that's we done with the uh, step six as well. Then uh, the build cradle, which is already done. So that's it. That's all we done so far. So far, so good. So what should we need to do is you just go for the device and try to run. So try to run a real device. Uh, I expect uh, the result will be like this. You can find here the option. Uh, you you it will be asking for the usage permission for the camera and all these things. So you just do that and uh, you can just give the results like this. So. Uh, you can find the source code from the video description so if you want to try to run from here straight away also maybe it will work because uh, for the 10 users in a month like okay so that's all uh, in this video so this is about uh, AR in Flutter application and how do you, we can use this uh, filter AR and use the keys and all these things so I just made it very quickly because I don't want to write the codes and waste time of yours. You just uh, you can just download the source and go through the stuff. Uh, you just do the steps for the steps, all these things. You can get the final result. I hope so. So that's all in this video. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video.